Hey! Woo! What is that song? Up the ante. Up the ante. Are you guys gonna put out an album or anything? Of yeah, these we're talking about it. Got to. Yeah, we should do that. Got to. That is yeah. party music. Yeah. Uh, I'm not not the first time I've said this uh, tonight. One of my favorite guests of all time, Rachel Maddow, will be here in just a, just a second. She's the explainer. The great explainer. She's the explainer in chief. Uh, folks, as you know, I am fascinated by science, particularly test tubes. I've tested them, and guess what? They're not tubes. They're just long, skinny cups. And I'd like to tell you about the latest in science in my science segment. The sound of science. Hello, science, my old friend. So dumb. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense at all. First up, a new grumpy fish species has been discovered in the Red Sea. Researchers say that due to its rather unhappy appearance, it was dubbed the Grumpy Dwarf Gobi, <laughs> which is far better than their first idea for a name, Clinically Depressed Nemo. <laughs> up next, in the world of science, the founder of the tech company Oracle recently predicted that we are about to see a spike in AI surveillance because omnipresent AI cameras will ensure good behavior. Yes, more cameras always equals good behavior. That's why reality television is famous for good <laughs> behavior. <laughs> And who is this tech billionaire planning our dystopian Big Brother-inspired future? Why, it's Oracle's co-founder, Larry Ellison, who, fun fact, is about to take control of Paramount Global, which owns CBS. Which is why I am thrilled to say that I think Larry's idea of constant surveillance <laughs> is a great visionary idea. <laughs> Love you, Lair Bear. Love you. <laughs> You're the best, buddy. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you, I, I, I don't, I'm here to tell you, we all are loving the beard. <laughs> it does not at all look like you're the love child of General Zod and that guy from inside the studio. <laughs> <laughs> science, up next. Eps next in science sounds. Scientists believe they have now created organisms in the laboratory that are a third state beyond life and death. The organisms in question combine cells from dead animals with robotics called xenobots, some of which are created from the cells of already dead frogs, which somehow remain capable of performing simple tasks. And I'm, I'm being told we have footage of this horrifying xenofrog experiment in action. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. <laughs> Worked in rehearsal. Next up, a man played trombone during brain surgery. Please let it be the surgeon. Please let it be the surgeon. <laughs> I was the patient, damn it. Mm. Apparently, this man was having tremors caused by an issue in his brain, so they let him play his trombone during the procedure to monitor its progress. And I'm happy to say it was a success, which is good, because it would be awkward if there was a screw-up and you had to play this during your own surgery. Uh, uh, uh. It's Rich Dom would love that joke. Rich Dom would love that joke. In weird science news, the annual Ig Nobel Prizes were awarded last week. These are awards for silly or trivial scientific discoveries. Among the winners were Dutch researchers who determined that startled cows produce less milk. <laughs> During the testing, the frightening at first consisted of placing a cat on the cow's back and exploding paper bags every 10 seconds for two minutes, but later the cat was dispensed with as unnecessary. Okay, quick, a quick question, science. I assume since you've moved on to scaring cows with paper bags, we're all good on the cancer. <laughs> That's all cured, because until you do that, maybe we don't prank farm animals. <laughs> Moving on, according to new research, sitting all day can cause dead butt syndrome. And you really want to diagnose that early, because once it dies, your butt starts to smell. <laughs> so, what is it? Well, sitting around all day can cause the muscles in your rear to become so weak from inactivity that they seem to forget how to function in something called gluteal amnesia. 
Something I never have to worry about because my ass is unforgettable. That's the end. Watch That's not the end. Go one more. Okay. <laughs> Next up, new research now tells us why drinking water won't cure your hangover. Wow, I can't believe that thing that's never worked doesn't work. <laughs> Scientists found that boozers who drank water felt less dehydrated but experienced the same degree of pain, nausea, and exhaustion. Fun fact, pain, nausea, and exhaustion are the hard-drinking cousins of snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> Until next time, this has been... The Sound. The Sound. We'll be right back with Rachel Maddow.